The government refuses to fulfill the demands, and the terrorists start preparing for launch. To stop the launch, Snake, Snake must either use the detonation code emergency override key of the underground maintenance space, or destroy Metal Gear itself. Taken hostage, Snake is subjected to Ocelot's torture. If he submits, Beryl will be killed. Cable tells Snake, who is drained from the torture, that Metal Gear is equipped with a new type of nuclear warhead. Snake waits for the opportunity to escape from his cell. Hey there everyone, good to see you out to me and welcome back to some more Metal Gear Solid, the Twin Snakes. Hi! Oh, Deb, I caught a cold. That witch, she took my clothes! Yeah, I know, I know. <laughs> yeah, that, that's what happened. That, that's what happened since the, uh, the last episode. Meryl just got, just got lured into the trap. She got, she just got sniped by a, by sniper wolf. And I managed to defeat Sniper Wolf in in a sniper battle with the uh, the tranquilizer rifle. And later on, I just got being tortured. Ugh, I just got being tortured. Right here. Yep. This is where I got tortured. And I ended up here in this area. Yeah, I'm ended up here in the cell. Fuck. Huh. Okay, looks like I have to wait for the opportunity to escape the prison. I have to escape the cell. Hmm. Yeah, we gotta contact Otacon. Otacon, are you still okay? Yeah, thanks to the stealth camouflage, that is. I have a favor to ask. I need your help. I was wondering when you'd ask. What should I do? I've been captured. I'm locked up here in this cell. What cell? Uh, there's a big torture machine nearby. Okay, I know it. It's close. I'll be there right away. Thanks. Okay. He's on his way now. On the car is on his way. Well, I, uh... I'll wait for the, uh, the opportunity to escape. Snake, it's showtime. Ocelot wants you. Uh oh. Here we go again. Oh boy. Okay, I'll tell you once more. Press the resist button repeatedly to regain your strength. When you've had enough, press the surrender button to submit. When your life reaches zero, the game is over. There are no continues, my friend. I've fought wars in Afghanistan, Mozambique, Eritrea, and Chad. Among the Mujahideen guerrillas, I was known and feared as Shalashaska. I was trained by the Russian Gru. I'm not like one of those KGB slugs. To me, this isn't torture. It's a sport. You're all just a bunch of sadists. Don't confuse me with those uniformed fools. Well, shall we begin? Uh, I am not prepared for- I am not prepared for myself for being tortured again. Yep. That's what I thought. How did you like that? Shall we go again? No. No! I'll just keep tapping the button. Had enough yet? Oh, we're not finished yet. Oh dear, one less. One more. Ah! <sighs> there we go. God. Hey, when that happens. You're a strong man. Well, that's enough for now, I think. We live in a sad age. 
Imperialism. Totalitarianism. Perestroika. 20th century Russia has had its share of problems, but at least they had an ideology. Russia today has nothing. They're struggling between freedom and order, and with that struggle, a new spirit of nationalism has been born. The boss has a close friend high up in the Russian government. He's currently the head of Spetsnaz. He's agreed to purchase this new nuclear weapons system. The Hind was just a down payment. So, you're in this for the money? I don't need money. I want Russia to be reborn, to lead a brave new world order. Oh, I can't believe it. Oh, this is going to be tortured again. Alright. Alright. So I'm just going to chill out and then, uh, yeah. As I was saying before, while I'm waiting for my opportunity here, hope you guys enjoyed this video, and if you are, so... You okay, Snake? Yeah. Nothing new to report. Snake, is there anything I can do? Yeah. My arm hurts. <sighs> Poor Snake. I'll increase the level of painkillers in your blood. Snake, put the controller up against your arm. What? Don't worry. It'll feel good. Huh? Okay. Here I go. Oh! Mm. How's that feel, Snake? A little better? A shiatsu massage. How did you do that? I stimulated your muscle fibers with the nanomachine cilia. That's about all I can do for you. Naomi, please talk to me. Say something to take my mind off the pain. What can I say? Anything. I... I'm not a very good talker. Please. Tell me about yourself. <sighs> Myself? That's a tough one. Any family? That's not a happy topic for me. I don't have any family. No, wait. There was a man who said he was my father. Where is he? Dead. By my own hand. Big Boss. What? Big Boss? There was no way you could know. It happened in Zanzibar land six years ago. Only Snake and I know the real truth of what happened there. So, is it true? Was Big Boss really your father? That's what he said. That's all I know. And you were able to kill him, knowing that? Yep. How? It's what we wanted. Me. And him. That's patricide. Yeah. That's the trauma of my life. Just like Mantis said. Is that why you left Foxhound? Let's just say that I needed to be alone for a while. And Alaska was the perfect place. Oh, Snake. I didn't have a real family either. Just a big brother who put me through school. We weren't even blood related and he was much older than me. Where is he? He's dead. I'm sorry. Snake. Is there a woman in your life? After you've been through as many wars as me, it's hard to trust anyone. Friends? Roy Campbell. <laughs> You're still calling me friend? Is that it? No. There was another. Frank Yeager. <gasps> Big Boss's most trusted lieutenant, and the only member of Foxhound ever to receive the code name Fox. Gray Fox. I learned a lot from him. But... didn't you try to kill each other? It's true. We did. In Zanzibar land. But it was nothing personal. We were just professionals on opposite sides, that's all. And you still call yourself friends? Hard to believe. War is no reason to end a friendship. That's insane. I first met him on the battlefield. He was being held a prisoner of outer heaven. But he didn't look like a prisoner to me. He was always so cool and precise. I was still green, and he showed me the ropes. You knew him well? No. We never talked about our personal lives. Sort of an unwritten rule. The next time I saw him on the battlefield, 
We were enemies. We were fighting barehanded in a minefield. I know it sounds strange to most people, but we were just two soldiers doing our jobs. It's like a sport. It makes no sense. Just violence, murdering each other. Yeah. I think so, too. So if you were friends, then how do you explain the ninja's behavior? I don't know. It's your genes. They make you predisposed toward violence. You really like talking about genes. Naomi, why did you get into genetic research anyway? I never knew who my parents were. Or even what they looked like. I guess I got into genetics because I wanted to figure out why I am the way I am. So you studied about DNA? I thought if I could thoroughly understand DNA, I could get back my identity. I thought that by analyzing a person's genetic information, I could retrieve the blank spots in that person's memory. Memory is stored in DNA? We're not sure, but we know that a person's genetic fate is determined just by the sequence of the four bases in their DNA. So what about my fate? You know my DNA sequence, don't you? Your fate? I'm... I'm sorry. I have no idea. Of course not. You're a scientist, not a fortune teller. Awesome. Oh. Oh, oh, my stomach. Damn it. Uh oh, he's going to poop. He's going to poop. <laughs> well, we all know that. Great Fox's real name is Frank Yeager. Yeah. Anyway. Oh, someone's coming. Sonicon. I can see you in the Hey, I'm here. Where? Yeah, I can see you in the stealth camouflage. It's me. Otacon. Wow. They even captured you. Hurry, ah! get me out of here. Uh, let me go. That hurts. <gasps> ah! Hurry up. Snake, is that how you ask a guy a favor? Let me go. an animal's cage. What a smell. Yeah, because of him. Hi! It's the DARPA chief. If you don't hurry up and get me out of here, I'll be laying next to him. Those bastards. This lock won't open with a security card. You need a key like the soldiers carry. So what are you doing here then? I... I thought you might be hungry. If you need more food, I can bring some more later. Also, I got you this level six card. It'll get you out of that torture room. Here, take this too. What's this? It's a handkerchief. I got it from Sniper Wolf. Why? I don't know why, but she's nice to me. Sounds like Stockholm Syndrome to me. I was taking care of the dogs here. After the terrorists took over, they were planning to shoot all the dogs. But Sniper Wolf stopped them. She even let me feed them when I asked. She likes dogs. She must be a good person. Please don't hurt her. Wake up, you idiot. She's the one who shot Merrill. Well, that's all I can do. They're planning to launch a nuke. I've got to stop them. Then you'll have to get past the communications tower. First, you have to get me out of here. Come on, I'm trying my best. That guard's got the key. You'll have to take him out. Give me a break. I'm no soldier. I can't take anybody out. You have to. 
I'll be killed. Huh. He's coming back. Oh, jeez. He's coming back. See you later. Too late. Too late. He's not coming back. That's better. Did he give me? I can't believe. I can't believe all the car just gave me a ketchup. Yep. Let me try this when I'm faking my death. There it goes. Me. There it goes. There it goes. Snake. Putting, putting in uh, the ketchup on the floor. What the hell? Yeah, he thinks I'm dead. Surprise! Yeah, I don't think so. Oh, looks like I knocked him out. See? Yep, I think he did. Well, that actually works. And also, he gave me a, uh, a level 6 card. Thank God. Okay. There's my items. There are all my gear. Ah. Uh, Okay. Geez, I was being interrupted by the, the uh, code, the, the code deck. Jesus Christ. Anyway, as I was saying before, hope you guys enjoyed this video, and if you are, show me some love, hit the like button down below, subscribe, and click the little bell. Okay. Oh, shoot. I don't know, they, I don't know, they installed the, uh, the gun camera. I try to prevent me from escape. There. How do you like now, huh? Okay. Uh. Let me, uh. Let me head over to, uh, to the armory. There's one item that I haven't yet. I gotta be careful because there are there are three souls there are uh hmm. Yep, good night. Hmm. Oh, what the oh I think I just knock him out. Okay, that's good. Okay. And there's my and there's my other sniper rifle. The regular PSG one. Cause I, cause I got two, uh, two sniper rifles. One is the, the tranquilizer rifle, and the other is a sniper rifle. That's good. That's good. Good. Okay, let me grab the uh, ammo. And I believe there's uh, another ammo. But there are two ammos. Maybe I should get them all. I better be careful not to, not to walk over this, uh, the lasers. Okay, grabbing some, uh, ammo. Grabbing all the ammo. Grabbing all the ammo I need. Before I can move on. Okay, come on. Chef. Oh, my flamas is full. Okay, that's good. What else do I have? Um... Oh! C4! What the hell? I forgot. That's C4. I totally forgot about that. C4. Okay, let's grab some C4s. Uh, let's see. Okay. I only have 10. 10 C4s. Okay, and suppose I get to go in, in this direction? Let me, uh, get, grab some everything. Okay. There we go, blow that shit. Oh, blow that shit away. Okay, I hear a uh, gun camera in here. Me. 
done. Okay. Come up. And one. Bye. Oh, I don't have a stinger missiles. Sorry. Done cam okay oh okay I, I got the I got the camera. Nice. Now what? Oh, what the what the Snake, there's a bomb planted in your items. Hurry, throw it away. Who the hell are you? One of them? You'll find out soon enough. What? what? The bomb? Wait. Oh shoot. Okay, I'm gonna get out of here. What in the... What, what the fuck the bomb? That was a close one, Snake. Ocelot. You'll pay for that. That Deep Throat's a real enigma. He's definitely from inside their ranks. Is he an informer? Maybe some kind of renegade? I've got the feeling there's some other force at work here. Ugh, thank God for that. Thank you. Thanks for informing my... Thank, thanks, thanks for the, uh... Thanks for the reminding. Thanks for the reminder. Okay. Peace. What in me? I can't believe... I can't believe Ocelot planted the, uh, the... He just planted the freaking bomb, the time bomb. From my pocket. Louis, I can't believe it. Okay. Not with this bullshit. I mean, let's head up let's head back to the uh, the nuclear warhead storage building and we're headed all the way to the to the to the commander's room. Okay. Looks like we're good to go. There are some enemies in there. Good night. Oh, missed. There you go. Jeez, I, I tried to miss. Jeez, I uh, I missed the target. Okay, we're at nine. I think there's some. Um, yep. Yep, I can see there's a, a surveillance camera. I'm gonna try to knock them out. Here, come here. Good night. Okay, oh shit. I bet there's a. Uh, The grenades are full. What's this? The stun grenades are full. Grenades and uh, oh, jab grenade. All right. <laughs> Back at the end, nuclear warhead storage building. Okay. Again, I have to be very careful not to not to get not to get spotted by the enemies. If I do that, uh.
It's coming. Put by a uh, ox. Oh, finally. Okay. First off, I need to go to the the. I need to go to the second floor basement. Alright. And I'm gonna wear a gas mask. Oh, totally forgot to uh, use the Japanese. Uh, good. And I got the, uh, the body armor. <laughs> ah. I got I got the body armor now. That will reduce my damage up to uh twenty uh twenty five percent. I don't know. That will reduce my damage. Okay. Let's remove the uh uh the thing. Okay. Now let's head up, let's head back to the commander. Ship. To the commander's room, to the cave. Okay. Um... You know... I think there's an item in there that... Oops. Good night. Yeah, that's what it is. What is this? Cold, uh... A medicine? A medicine. What am I gonna do with the medicine? Hmm. Okay, I got the medicine now, which is like I believe it's a cold medicine. Was it? Yeah, that's a cold medicine. Okay, now let's head back. The yep, let's head back to the caves and then the uh, the, the underground passage. Speaking of passage, all the guy gave me this, the handkerchief. Sniper Wolf's have hank Sniper Wolf's handkerchief. Smells faintly of her. Yeah, if I equip this... Mm. Oh, the cute puppy! Oh, the cute wolves! All oh, the wolves are... Mm. trying to follow me. Hello! Especially you, my little one. Oh, look at you. Ah. Oh, look at you. Especially you, my little one. How are you doing? Doing good? Not oh, nice. Okay. What do you have to say, Otacon? Why do you give me a, uh, uh, Stifle Wolf's handkerchief? Snake. Don't kill the dogs, please. What are you talking about? If I don't kill them, they'll kill me. But those dogs are just innocent animals. So if they were guilty, it'd be okay. But you... You keep dogs, don't you? So what? This is war. My private hobbies have got nothing to do with it. <sighs> yeah, of course. I'm not gonna kill the dogs. I'm not gonna kill that puppy. Okay, let's let's uh, let's get a move on. All right, and now for the uh. I'm gonna have to keep remain silent about what happened in the last episode. Enjoy the flashback. And yep, this is uh, this is what happens when Mel just got shot. I want to help you. 
quiet down. Save your strength. I was a fool. I wanted to be a soldier. Uh, war is meaningless. Nothing comes out of war. Uh, snake, please, save yourself. Go on living and don't give up on people. Don't forget me. Yeah, let's fight for that. Yeah. Snake, about Merrill. Colonel, I'm sorry. Listen to me. I... I wasn't able to protect her. Snake, she's a soldier. She knows that prisoners are a part of war. She joined up of her own free will. I'm sure she was prepared for this. No, you're wrong. Meryl thought she had to become a soldier, thought it was the only way. She said she thought it would bring her closer to her dead father. She said that? She wasn't ready for real combat. I shouldn't have pushed her so hard. It's all my fault. That's not like you, Snake. Master? What is it? Sorry for eavesdropping, but I couldn't just listen anymore. Master? Snake, you can have regrets if you want to. It's only natural. But you can't keep attacking yourself for things that happened in the past. Nothing good will come from that. He's right. Don't kick yourself. It doesn't suit a legend like you. I'm sure Meryl's just fine. Mei Ling. Snake, forget about Meryl. Stop Liquid. That's what Meryl would want too. You're right. Meryl would say the same thing. Snake. What? Meryl. She's pretty special to you, huh? Well, yeah, special. There aren't many tomboys like her. That's not what I meant. She's the Colonel's niece and a combat buddy. Is that all? Come on. This is like a police interrogation. No, I just... I guess it's in the genes. The genes? What are you talking about, Colonel? <laughs> no, I just remembered about Naomi's grandfather. I think Naomi said he rose as high as assistant secretary in the FBI during Edgar Hoover's time. Is that right? Yes. Yes. He was Japanese, and he became a special undercover investigator to nab the Mafia. When was that? Um, uh, sometime in the 50s, I guess. Where? New York, I think. Naomi? I thought that you didn't have any family. I researched it after I became an adult. My grandfather was already dead by the time I learned about him. I never even had the chance to meet him. Oh. Snake. Good luck. Watch your back, Snake. Yeah, I cannot for I cannot forget about what happened in the last episode. Yep, this is this is it. This is uh this is what she got uh, attacked here. By sniper wolf. Okay, let's uh, let's uh, let's keep the move on, and then uh, I'll head over to the to the door. Oh boy, so sad to say. Eh, hey, what do you know? <laughs> Looks like I have to change the disc here, but I uh, just gonna have to end this video here. We're gonna continue this in the next episode. Trying to, uh, get over to this, uh, to the, uh, the, to the com communication towers. Okay, that's it for this episode here. Hope you guys enjoyed this video, and if you are, show me some love, hit the like button down below, subscribe, and click the little bell. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace! Bye-bye, bye-bye.